almost taste the adrenaline. It's going great, really, really fast. These Formula race cars are built by students, not professionals, but that doesn't mean they're not fast. Most cars do zero to 60 miles per hour in three seconds. They pull 1.8 Gs sustained on the corners. So these cars are highly capable. The cars are entries in the Formula SAE, a contest for engineering students sponsored by the Society of Automotive Engineers. In the spring, they'll compete for glory at a big showdown in Detroit. Today's race is a crucial run-up to that event. A chance to test cars and drivers in a one-day time trial shootout hosted by the University of Toronto. This is one of the more challenging courses on the circuit, so they get to try something new that they haven't tried anywhere else. The favorites are Toronto, the host of the event, Michigan State, known for its good looks, and Cornell. They always field a fast car, and they're famous for driver training. You can have the best car in the world, and if you don't have a good driver to go with it, it doesn't, it doesn't work out. There are some new threats, too. They call Polytechnic de Montréal hopes a new lightweight two-stroke engine will give them an edge if they can get it to work. We had a problem with uh, one bracket uh, this morning. <laughs> so we finished the car a uh, few hours ago. <laughs> University of Western Ontario is also worth watching. They had a good car last year and hope to improve. But do they have enough experience in the driver's seat? Every team has to put in three drivers to this event. We then take the best lap time from each driver and average the three. The team with the best top average wins the event. Each driver takes a lap in turn under the anxious eye of the rest of their team. They have to handle steep changes in elevation and a difficult slalom. For some, just getting around the track is a challenge. We can't have them spinning out like that on every lap. For others, it's about driver precision. Whoa. Hitting a cone means a costly two-second penalty. But unfortunately, just as I come around the, the last chicane, I, hit, I must have hit two or three on the side, and I just wasn't very happy with that. Western's drivers may be struggling on the chicane, or S-curve, but at least their car's running. The car's dead on track. Oh, breakdowns and scrambling is very consistent with these types of competition. Left, 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 left. If a car is entering its first event for a year, there can be a lot of issues ranging from mechanical to electrical and even some administrative issues some teams have had. As the day goes on, Cornell proves to be as fast as advertised. But a call polytechnique isn't living up to its hype yet. They've blown a starter and pulled off for repairs. Uh, if we can find a starter, yeah, we found a starter. We will change the starter within a couple of minutes and we, maybe we'll be able to run again. They're not alone on the sidelines. Western is having problems now too. Right now we have a fracture in our chassis and we need to weld it before we can do another lap. Good plan. Problem is, they don't have a welder. We had our own welder in the trailer but we actually had other problems with the trailer today and we had to abandon it on the side of the road. And if they can't find a welder, they're out for the day. I'm feeling kind of down. It's our third problem of the day, but if we can fix it, I think we can set a good lap time and hopefully we'll place well. Finally, a welder is borrowed and the fix is done. With the day nearly over, Western is now unlikely to win, but they hope their experiences here will pay off later in the season. We try to analyze everything that breaks, so you don't want to obviously repeat the same mistake over and over. A co-polytechnic is also getting back on track, but not for long. Their car breaks down again, and officials have had enough. We're not really pleased with their performance. Their car hasn't been able to work. Uh, to save everyone aggravation and time, we're just going to pull them off. They're parked for the rest of the day. In the end, Cornell is a juggernaut that can't be beat. They win the event. Michigan State is voted best-looking vehicle. But don't feel too bad for a call Polytechnique. In recognition of their valiant efforts, they win the Team's Choice Award. And Western's happy too. They pulled it out of the fire for a respectable seventh place. And at the end of the day, they say this contest is about a lot more than winning. You're spending most of the year designing the car and building. And for a young engineer, it means a lot. You're actually putting into practice what you learn in the classroom. Besides, there's always next time.